make me uh, sit for a moment and meditate. You would turn the lights off and allow me to uh, just kind of get centered and quiet the noise. You used to mm -hmm. say, quiet the noise of life down before you enter back into the movement mm -hmm. of life. One of the things that you talked to me about and you taught me during that process is breathing, not mm -hmm. just inhaling or exhaling, which I think and kind of look at it as the hustle and bustle of the day. But you've taught me, Lynette, when I turn the lights down and you sit still and you quiet your mind, take deep breaths in and exhale and just, mm -hmm. just breathe. Talk to me and everybody here about breathing. Why is breathing so important and why is it different from inhaling and exhaling? Well, when we, when we think about inhaling and exhaling, mm -hmm. It's a process. It's just an in and an out. But with focus, with attention, with concentration on how we breathe, ah, then just big difference. Absolutely. Then the breath takes on a different meaning for us. That's good. So so we think about it this way. Without breath, what happens? We die. We die. We perish. So when we're, in, when we're in session or when I'm in session with another client, I talk about the very first thing that an EMT does mm. or a doctor or a nurse or any other professional, the layperson, just mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sam Jones on the street, mm -hmm. if they encountered a person that was unconscious but they were trained in CPR, the very first thing that they would do is check for a pulse and establish whether or not the person was breathing. Mm -hmm. The first and foremost concern is breath because breath is life. Yes. Without it, nothing can be sustained.